Hello muskies welcome back to 100 days 100 lead code problem and today is day 2 and we are going to solve today one of the most popular problem on lead code that is the valid parenthesis problem so let's first analyze the question so question says that you are given an input string that contains the character and the, these character are nothing but just the brackets so our task is to determine if the input string is valid or not and input string is valid in only two conditions first every opening bracket has a corresponding closing bracket and the other one is brackets are closed in the correct order so from the examples you can see that which one is valid and which one is not valid so before we move on uh, to this question let's first analyze which data structure is we can use here so this problem requires you to handle items in the exact reverse order they were received in fact the core rule for valid parenthesis is that brackets must be closed in the correct order so the last opening bracket must be the first one to be closed so for these type of scenarios a stack is the best data structure as we know the last opening bracket must be the first one to be closed so it will become a leaf stack problem and not only stack uh, we can we are using we can use uh, the hash map as well in this problem the common Combination of a stack and the hash map let's analyze this step by step so step one is to uh, you know initialize the hash map first uh, in order to store the valid bracket pairs uh, and the time complexity for this is big o one so it is very fast and with the hash map we can also initialize a stack that will store the opening brackets okay so next step uh, is uh, we can do a quick pre-check if the string length is odd then it is automatically invalid like uh, if uh, we have odd length of a string then uh, there are chances that one or two uh, brackets are not properly closed so that is why we do a pre-check and the third one is we begin with the iteration so we will iterate into the string from left to right and step four is for each character uh, if it's an you know opening bracket then we can push it to the stack uh, that's why we initialize the stack and if it is a closing bracket then there are two conditions if a stack is empty then it is automatically we can return false because it is not uh, a valid parenthesis otherwise what we can do we can simply pop the top element from the stack and check if it matches the correct opening bracket from the hash map or not if not then also it is not a valid parenthesis you know uh, the last step you know, after all the pre-processing of the characters the string is valid only if this stack is empty so this is the basic logic behind this question and using this logic i have created the python code with 1 ms of speed so uh, in order to check the code you can check out the co uh, pinned comment and see you in the next video